Hello, good morning. What's up, everybody? It's the big time joker. Um, excuse me, uh, my nose and all that. Hold on, one minute. All oh, right, sorry about that. Had to clean clean out my congestion. I got a lot of congestion going on. Uh, that's like I ain't been on. I haven't been feeling too good since Saturday. Um, just a bunch of upper respiratory, you know, complications and. just hasn't been feel haven't been feeling good but i'm back um i'm getting better uh i'm actually out getting the kids school packets because they're not going back to school they're gonna have to do it from home which pretty much expect that every time the this pandemic thing is going on but um got tested and everything negative um just having to take medicine it's really weak and tired not able to eat too much but i'm feeling like i'm starving this morning so if you guys don't know what it is i have stopped at our local it's like a grocery store market it's called kj's um shout out to my sister usually if she's up here working i get a little bit of a discount you know on food so yeah, it makes it worthwhile, I guess. You know, it's you know it's family. And found out not too long ago after Christmas, um, she's having another baby. So, but this is what my sister's hooked up for me. Um, I don't know how well you can see everything. I got cheesy grits, eggs, um, a old school sausage link, um, and a piece of uh, spicy chicken. I'm just, I'm going to get to this, y'all. I'm hungry. Got like some real chicken, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, chicken, chicken, chicken. I don't know if you can see that. I feel like I'm starving, but now I feel like I don't have an appetite. I don't know, it's just... Oh. I'm glad to see everybody's back in the mix. Starting to do their own thing now. Well, starting to get back on their videos and stuff. Luke been working it. Shoes has been back on here. Um, I want to give a shout out to ASMR Red. Miss Chastity. Um, I'm on cloud now, right now. I'm just floating, you know. I'm just whatever's coming to mind. I see a knighted came back. He done a little video for us. Um, was it Louis this more? Oh my god. I'm gonna get my, my butt kicked because I, I can't I'm all brain dead. Can't remember nobody's channels. Um Thank you for all the new subscribers. Appreciate y'all giving me a chance though. share back give back my youngest son he's doing ASMR he's got his own channel it's called Flip Squad <laughs> um, I want to say it's more like a vlog he got a couple of ASMR videos on there too one of them had me walking in. But I didn't even know he was recording. And that's usually what happens when you make content, though, right? <laughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, so I'm not as hungry as I thought it was. I 
I tell you what. Mm. Okay. These are the symptoms that I have. Upper respiratory infection, sinus congestion, cough, sneezing, watery eyes, um, bathroom problems, um, not solid, liquid. Um, <laughs> not running a fever, slight migraine headache, <clears throat> back was burning. Now, majority of what I've been seeing on the news, what I've read up on, and the list of symptoms at my doctor's office, COVID. COVID is related to upper, upper respiratory infection. <sighs> Shortness of breath. Especially after coughing and sneezing and having to blow your nose, you're like wore out, you're exhausted. You know, so, um, with that being said, you know, uh, I couldn't go see my doctor. I had to go to the sick clinic and uh, it's reserved. You set up your appointment, you go to the doctor's office, sit on the side where it says res reserved and wait until you're called and then they bring you in and do your test on you. Give me one minute, y'all don't wanna be discussing. I gotta blow my nose. Okay, back at you again. So, <clears throat> the checkup's like a routine checkup. Um, I live in Georgia. The offices are packed. You know, I don't care what this news says. I don't care anything about it. But it's getting bad here. I'm, I'm, I imagine it's getting bad everywhere. But yeah, it's, it's getting serious down here. And people still aren't taking it seriously. Um, I guess, or it's just one of those things. Um, my wife got the same effects of everything that I had. Um, but she had already got the shot. She got tested. She got the shot in a few weeks or a week later. You know, started. I told her I said my sinus cavities, um, they're they're stinging, they're burning. You know, and she was like mine too. And I was like, okay, whatever. You know, got up the next morning. Oh no! It was that Saturday afternoon that night, and I felt like I was getting congested. Well, my nephew, he was the same way the week before that. So we started giving him medicine and antibiotics. He hasn't fully recovered. Because I bought some medicine for me and him. Because the medicine that they were wanting me to take and pick up, I would have spent $100 on it. And they wanted me to get an inhaler. That was another 100 and something dollars. I'm like, I just don't have two hundred dollars on the medicine I don't so just cough medicine that they want me to have this nausea medicine they want me to have I'm just like she's like when well, the med medicine for nausea is going to be sixty six dollars I said okay well what about the cough syrup Call syrup's gonna be thirty something dollars. How much is in the inhaler? It's like a hundred and twenty, but we don't have it in stock. Okay, I'm good. I don't have that money right now. So.
the next best thing that does work and I know works. Uh huh. Those work. Like eight bucks, seven, seven bucks. I'm pretty sure I can take that daytime, nighttime, and I'll be good by at least Friday. Like Saturday, I should be clear. And I'm starting to clear up now. If I were to try to do a video when I was the way I was, y'all would have been like, man, this man's so sick. I'm going to get sick watching this video. And I called my job, told everybody, told two boss men what was going on. Everybody else is calling me. Hey, you coming in? You all right? They didn't even recognize my voice. I'm talking about my voice is like, no, nah, I ain't coming in. No, I'm like, I can't even talk to you. <laughs> yeah, I'm just so tired and drained. I felt like I was feeling okay this morning. I should have might have went and went to work. But going out to the kids' school and getting their, their packages and everything for the school work and all. You know, it's just... And getting this, man, I'm just, I'm tired. All I want to do is I want to go home and lay back down and go to sleep. But... I'm blessed because I woke up this morning. And I'm worth it 100% because if I wasn't, that's just an opinion from somebody else. I have a worth, I have a value in my life. I ain't gonna lie, man. When you out of work all week, and your wife's working and she's got somewhat like what you got but she's feeling a lot better they gave her antibody they gave her a z-pack they didn't want to give me a z-pack they want to give me cough syrup and pills and all kind of stuff i'm like and i'm just like yo i just need something to help me get back on my feet you know and She took her Z-Pack, man. It's like she's a little congested. She can get up, she can move around, she's working. That's that's all I'm that's all I got left. I, I can't finish it, y'all. But I'm telling you, I had a dog that had an accident. <clears throat> Cause the back legs are going out. And it's getting worse. So I'm probably going to end up having to take her and get her laid down. I don't want to because it's like I want to hear her free will on it. You know, I just don't want to. Because she has her day. Some days she can't hardly move around do nothing. Some days she can get up. And did you grab some food like a piece of chicken or something like that? Wave it in front of her. Man, she's getting up. She's coming. But we got hardwood floor, so I know it's hard for her to do that. But sometimes outside, I'll carry her outside and set her down. And she'll just sit down and just go bathroom right there. No, no. So it's just like, you know, problems adding up more and more. Getting, uh. <coughs> you know, anxiety flaring up, worrying about bills, worrying about stuff like this. So, you know, I can, I can feel you on that. Especially if you got a job that you work at and you're out and you can't help getting sick. And then, you know, I join a club at my workplace. And you put a dollar in every week out of your check. Um, before everything went on, every other month, you take your whole family out, eat, get whatever you want, you know. And uh, another thing about the Benefit Club is I'm out all week. So any other job, you out all week, you don't work, you don't get no money. Well, because I'm in this club and I got my excuse to, you know, I was sick, you know, and everything. I show that. Tell them, you know, I, you know, I'm gonna need a check. They'll write me a $250 check. 
I know it might not seem like a lot, but when you ain't got it, it's, it's, it's a good bit. So, you know, you have to manage your money. I haven't got my stimulus back either. Um, last time I got the stimulus, it was through mail at my mom's uh, father-in-law's house because they moved. So, you know, it's kind of things like that that make you kind of freak out a little bit. But, you know, you guys, I'm, I'm back. I'm trying to do some uh, video content. So, you know, I'm just trying to show y'all that I'm here. I want to say uh, thank you, Luke B. Grubbin. Um, you know, wishing me better. I'm getting better, brother. I'm, 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 I'm trying to get better, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, that's about it right now. You know, just a little update ramble, you know, in the parking lot, grubbing out. So, you guys hold it down. And uh, until next time, you know, y'all hold it down. I'll see y'all. All right, bye.